When it was announced that Chris from Mr. Beast went trans, it was pretty obvious that we were going to have a major grooming problem with this. Mr. Beast as a channel is watched by kids across the country, across the world. It's the biggest channel in the world, and of course the kids absolutely love it. You see it uh, with the Mr. Beast bars that they have in grocery stores now. There's these overpriced bad chocolate bars. All the kids want them all the time just because they're watching this guy on YouTube. He's a big influencer and what he does matters. So when his team goes trans and when the team makes crazy stuff statements and does crazy things. This is bad because these are the kids uh, sort of uh, role models at this point. And this is what we're seeing. Now, we've already had a terrible, uh, you know, of course, watch of Chris, Chris's sort of time as he uh, has been shown dressing his little kid in high heels uh, as a boy. Uh, at times, uh, you know, his wife's made comments about how they've been abandoned and all that. It's been a nasty, nasty personal situation already, but it gets worse because this is a grooming situation. It is happening and it's alarming to see how uh, this is getting close to weird Epstein territory right here. Everything's connected and it, this is what we see all the time. So this is what came out over the weekend. There's Chris in the background right here and we also have uh, uh, Finster uh, from Mr. Beast out here as well. Uh, and uh, look at who they're hanging out with. They're shown hanging out with a known P, I'm being careful on what I say, uh, Jean Ella Hollywood, who's been proven to groom little kids into porn addiction, as well as grooming Orion Giggly Goon Clown Passmore into becoming a transgender uh, and child groomer. And of course they post the proof of this too. There's all these comments from Discord with this person uh, where they talk about pushing uh, this stuff on children. They say it's hot. They, they say that there's, uh, you know, this stuff is good. It's really, really rough uh, to look at this kind of stuff as you uh, see it. It makes you really mad if you want to get into this. Uh, and here's some of the alt account uh, stuff of posting weird pornography and a weird transgender ideology towards underage kids. So this is who Chris is hanging out with now. And we again, we saw that Instagram post of Chris putting his kid into uh, high heels already, uh, who's like, uh, I think the, his kid's two or three. So this is going to happen. This is how people get abused. This is very disconcerting. And when it's somebody of this big of an outlet uh, who has the big platform of Mr. Beast, this thing needs to stop almost like immediately. We need to figure out how to get this out of our children's faces because it's not a good thing. And of course, as they're trying to push more and more of this type of stuff across the country, trying to push more and more of this stuff into textbooks, into schools, uh, we reported last week, of course, that there's a book uh, out there called Gender Queer that they're trying to force into schools and they're using uh, legal defense money from different firms and all that in order to, of course, fight against school boards to try to put this pornography into children's hands. It's everywhere. It's permeating through our culture and it needs to stop. And the only way to stop this is, of course, first to raise awareness about the situation. What do you think about this? Leave a comment down below. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.